In this video, I'm going to try and explain the minimum tread depth that would be the measurement used by the building inspector or what the building codes are requiring. This is also going to be referred to uh, sometimes as the stair tread run, the individual stair tread run, not the overall distance of the stairway. So the overall distance from the front of the bottom tread to the very last step is going to be the overall stair run. So for example, if I had four steps, one, two, three, four, and I had a 40 inch horizontal measurement from here to here, uh, then and I divided it by the four steps, then that would give me 10, four 10 inch steps. So this would be one way of figuring the stair stair uh, tread run, the individual stair tread run, or what's referred to in the building code books as the minimum tread depth. Now the person was who asked the question was wondering why they don't just measure the width of the stair tread. This is actually the depth of the stair tread and it makes sense. I understand where they're coming from. So why can't they just measure the distance of the stair tread? So for example, it, let's just say you have an 11 inch stair tread with a one inch overhang. Why wouldn't this be the minimum stair tread depth? It makes sense. Well, that's not what they're looking for. They're, they're specifically calling out for, they want to see the distance from the face or the front of the upper step, front of the stair tread, to the front of the lower stair tread. So this would be the distance from here horizontally to here. So this is where they get the 10 inch measurement from. Now, I've already made a couple of videos and I think I got a little carried away confusing everybody, but I'm going to point out that on if you're using 90 degree angles and you're not putting an undercut on the stair tread, an undercut would be an angled stair tread, I mean angled riser back. So you would have an angle back and it's common. You can always go to the website to uh, search for that. So that that's an undercut. Now, if you're if it's everything is going to be 90 degree angles, then it's going to be the measurement from here to here on the stringer. It's going to be the measurement from face of riser to face of riser. This is going to be the tread uh, minimum tread depth. And le like I said, that wouldn't work if these were angled. This is only if these are 90 degree angles here. And uh, last but not least, the surefire way to figure this out, you're never going to be wrong, is to go from the face of the step, face of the step, which in this case would be the overhang, the front of the tread, to the front of the tread. So this is always going to be the same. Now, I'm going to put a picture in the back of the video so that you can see what it would look like if you were using a framing square. You can always use a framing square to check the measurement also. You're just going to shove the framing square tight up against the stair tread and then you would you would see that uh, you wouldn't be able to go past this point and then you would just measure the distance from there to here which would be your minimum uh, stair tread depth or I should say that not the minimum that would be your stair tread depth. The minimum for most residential homes, I believe, is 9 inches. It might be 10 inches, um, but uh, the most uh, codes are calling out for 11-inch um, stair minimum stair tread runs or minimum stair tread depth. But you would need to check with your local building department to verify that information. Don't forget to check out more stair building videos at this link. The link can also be found at the website, the top section on almost every page on the video button. Click on that for more videos, complete organized list. The list is updated every once in a while, so don't be surprised if some of the newer videos are not on it. But put the list together to make it a little easier for you to find some of the videos you're looking for.